Hey everyone, welcome back, Keith Floor 1x5 Games, and I did something that may or may not be a little crazy. I went out and I got the secret layer drop, Godzilla Lands. But, it'd be kind of boring just to open one little box of secret layer. So I also picked up three intro boxes of Zendikar. This is what I got from eBay. Don't you just love it when they tell you sealed that shit ain't sealed man new in package you're you're yanking my chain damn it look it doesn't even have i don't even think that has the whole freaking case anyways armament master is what comes in that pack we got pumped up you know some if you guys seen some of my past syndicar videos i usually yeah see it didn't even have the whole Oh, man. I knew there was a piece missing. Shit. You guys see my past Zendikar videos? I usually try to get more than three. Typically, I like to get five if I can. Four or five. But I'm kind of fed up with the prices, to be honest with you. And I know I say that all the time, how I'm fed up with prices, but I really am. I'm kind of like done. I'm over, over it by this point. I mean, people actually expect me to pay $80 for this fucking pack. One, one Zendikar pack? Come on, give me a break. Alright, so that's the one that could or couldn't be tampered with. I mean, it doesn't feel tampered with, but you never know sometimes. And I am a little paranoid. I mean, it looks legit, though. Well, until I do that. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all good. It's, it's probably fine. But I am going to put that off to the side. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do we want to open up first? I want to open up this. I have honestly never opened up a secret layer drop. So let's see what we get. And of course I've seen them on everyone else's channel, so I'm not, it's not like I'm in, I don't know anything about it. But I have not seen the uh, Godzilla lands yet. I, I personally hate spoilers, as some of you know, if you're, if you're new to the channel, I hate spoilers. So a lot of times I won't even look at new sets here. Oh, it says the Godzilla lands. Now, how do I open this box? Oh, just like that. Ooh. Honestly, if I wasn't a fan of Godzilla, I probably wouldn't have these right now. What the hell? The box is sturdy. That's good. There's... There's a card glued to the bottom. Hold on, I, I gotta... I gotta finagle that a little bit. It's just totally bending the card. What the hell? God damn it. I honestly don't need any help warping your cards, Wizards of the Coast. What the hell kind of glue did they use? Look at that, for a single fucking card. Oh my good god, man. Hopefully I didn't damage that. Nisa, who shakes the world. Oh, it's the stained glass foil, so that's cool. Definitely something that I'm highly interested in. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these guys, though. Oh, please don't tell me this is glued in. Oh my god. These are these are gorgeous on first. Holy shit. Looks amazing. It's got a little little extra sparkle down there in the bottom. Let's see what Oh, there's some more sparkles. Guess I don't need my trusty knife anymore. I'm trying to pop these off nicely. There we go. Who's he fighting in the back? 
I'm so far behind. Oh, that was Mo Mothra in the first one. It's been so long since I watched Godzilla. Man, these are beautiful. And there we go, through the forest. Tromping through the forest. Alright, so that's cool. I am going to get these bad boys and sleeves up. Is it worth the money? Is it worth the hype? Well, first, you should probably be a fan of Godzilla and want specialized lands. Otherwise, you probably have no business getting them. There's, you know, in my mind, they are actually pretty, pretty bad price. With that being said, you can always flip them online. So if you're interested in that, that always uh, is a pretty fair avenue usually. Are they worth, what, how much were they, 40? Are they worth 40? Um, nah. <laughs> I don't think so. They are beautiful. Though. And they're mint. I mean, they did a fantastic job of boxing that one up. I don't know about this one. Let's, op let's crack it open because I'm really nervous about how I did that. Hate. For whatever reason, this plastic doesn't do well when I'm opening these. Okay, let's see if we can slide her out. Oh my god, okay, no damage. But I can tell the top has some kind of cut lines there. I don't know what you call it. Cut, cut curls? Still looks pretty awesome. That background's nice. Alright. So that one's near mint. I would say the others are absolutely dead on mint. Alright. With that being said, let's just jump into these guys here. Now I do have other, don't get me wrong, I do have other of these secret layer products. I just don't intend on making, uh, putting them in my collection. Let's just say that. Selfie Preservation, Subcontract, I love these cards. Bumbling, Pangolin, Go to Jail, Crafty Octopus, Ground Pounder, with the Old Guard, Novel, Novel Mental. Night of the Kitchen Sink. There you go. Uh, we got half the Rhino. Is that uncommon? Yep. Chittering Doom. There's our favorite squirrels again. Water Market for a rare. Oh, that's a land. Nice. Full Art Swamp. Could have sworn I saw a foil on the back. Lackey Recycler. No foil. Hold on, this is the artifact. Auto key, and there it is. It's the gnome token that's the foil. Not too shabby. One more pack. This is actually all of the unstable I have left, other than a box that's sitting on the shelf forever. We got Feisty Stegosaurus. Hazmat suit, used of course. Paniac. Mark Nelson, Merman, Squirrel Dealer, Adorable Kitten, of course, Target Minotaur, Proper laboratory, laboratory Attire, Steam Floggery, Skull Saucer, and Earl of Squirrel, and an Fuller Island with dual dune suits. It's a rare artifact. Auto key again and a foil elemental. Not too shabby at all. I do love those lands. 
And then we're going to do Dark Ascension. Just for fun. I only have three of these packs, so we're just kind of just having fun. I honestly don't know what to expect. I, I've never opened this set, and I have no idea what the value cards are, so we're just taking a look together. Headless Scob, Shriek Geist, Silver Claw Griffin, Hollow Winge Beast, Hollow Henge Beast, Heavy Matok, a Fling, no, just Fling, Sightless Ghoul, Olvenwald Bear, Curse of the Thirst, like, is that like a Thirst Trap? Right? Strangle Root Geist? Gavany Iron Right? Ooh, Grim Backwoods for a land. Filling up my land folder. Ooh, hold on. There's a creature. Chosen of Markov. Ooh, turns into Markov Servant. Okay. Thought I heard someone. Oh, someone's in my backyard. Sorry about that. Kind of a false alarm. It's just neat. The camp dog poop. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to be doing that till later, so I'm not sure. He must be just trying to get it done so he can play his games. Crave. Grave Purge, Break of Day, Gruesome Discovery, Screeching Scob, Near Heath Stalker, hey my name's Heath, you can go in the binder bro, Chant of the Skifsane, Highborn Ghoul, Talons of Falcon Rat, <laughs> Gather the Townsfolk, uh, Drug Skull Captain, and yes I'm laughing because I Sometimes I think the names are really goofy. <laughs> Avacyn's Caller. Village Survivors. And Geralt's Mind Crusher. I've been putting all the rares there, haven't I? Uh, we got... Okay, we got that. And then we got Chalice of Life. Turns into... Chalice of Death. Not really overly surprising there. Alright. Final Dark Ascension pack. Drum roll. Can't even open the damn thing. Tragic slip. Crushing vines. Skillful lunge. Torch fiend. Grave purge. Uh, from your graveyard on top of your library. Okay, I'm sure people love that one. Gather the townsfolk. Sightless ghoul. Fires of Undeath. Addison's Caller again. Hopefully that's worth like $100. Mystic Retrieval. Altar of the Lost. We got a Ghoul Tree. It's kind of creepy looking. Human Token. We have Soul Caesar. Turns into a Ghastly Haunting. With a Forest. Ooh. And a Skurzdag Flare. Uncommon foil. Creepy looking dude. That's kind of cool because the only thing that uh, pops on him, on his face, is that symbol right there on his head. There we go. It's kind of creepy. Alright folks, here we go. Zendikar. We're going to do tampered with pack. <laughs> I'm just saying it's tampered with. We'll see. It still pisses me off when people sell, they sell me, you know, sealed product that's not sealed. That really pisses me off. Kabira Crossroads Land. Disfigure Mold Shambler. In case you don't know, we're looking for uh, one of the hidden treasures. Um, they had bought out a bunch of old cards and inserted them into the first edition or first printing of Zendikar, and it's really hard to find. 
Zendikar, Far Guide, Shield Mage Blessing. I don't think anyone's pulled one on camera. Cancel. And that's always been kind of my thing to try and do. Slaughter Cry. River Boa. So far, it has not happened. Blazing Torch. Quest for Pure Flame. And a Blood Ghast. Yes, so far that has not happened for me. Swamp Beast. Ooh, oh. I did, did get a foil rare though. Ghoul Draws Spectre. Nice. Yeah, it hasn't happened. Uh, and the theory is that the first editions were only in the fat packs and possibly in some intro packs, not all intro packs. And then of course there was a limited uh, amount of booster boxes, they say, that people reported reportedly pulled out some of the treasures. Now these aren't reprinted, these are actual cards that Wizards of the Coast went out to the open market and rebought them, or bought them if you will, and decided to insert them. So it's pretty cool if you can find one, that'd be awesome. I don't care what it is, I'll just take one. Burst Lightning, Explorer Scope, Heartstabber Mosquito, damn dude. Spider Silk Net, Core Sanctifiers, we got a Grove, Caravan Herda, Kraken Hatchling, Kraken, Kazundu Blade Master, with a Living Tsunami, Feast of Blood, Ooh, and an Archmage Ascension for a rare. Is it? Oh, then we got an island. Oh, come on. Tricking me. We got some landfall rules tip. So, yeah, that's essentially why the prices on these uh, boxes have gone up. Everyone knows it. And they capitalize on it. But every once in a while you'll see someone come in, they'll drop it for 30 bucks. Usually it's uh, the ones with the Hell Kite Charger. Um, there's a vampire one that definitely. Alright, so see, all the cards look new. You would, From what I understand, it was very noticeable when you did get one. Shatter Skull Giant, Old Defense. Soul Sword, Vines of Astwood, the Cartographer, the Marauder, Orin Reef Recluse, oh, Kraken Hatchling again, Ondu Cleric, Goblin War Paint, that's pretty cool, Windborn Charge, Merfolk Wayfinder, and a Rune Flare Trap with... Oh! <laughs> okay. I'll take a Marsh Flats. That's about $30. 30, actually, 36 or so. Forest and the Rules. I mean, shit. I will definitely take the Marsh Flats. Well, at least I'll uh, get my money back for that one pack. <laughs> Well, folks, really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed this Magic Monday. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but I just had a bunch of stuff laying around, and uh, rather than do a draw it out over three different videos, just thought we could get together and check it all out on this fantastic and glorious Monday. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of my other shit. Until next time, cheers.